As many as 5% of the people in the United States who have been diagnosed with Alzheimer's or Parkinson's disease or some other form of dementia may actually have a mystery condition that is really hard to diagnose. A Tampa area woman suffered for two years until she finally got the right answers. Now treated, she's enjoying life again, and she wants you to know the signs to look out for. Two years ago, Tampa resident Joan O'Hare lived on her own, moving from place to place easily, shopping with friends, cooking, cleaning her house. But that all changed in 2008 when she says she started having difficulty walking, was prone to falling, and became forgetful and confused. Last hard fall I had, <clears throat> I got up at night and I went to the edge of the kitchen and I was just kind of leaning on the counter, you know, and... That's the last I remember. I went forward and my head hit the tile floor and uh, I bruised my brain. After that, Joan saw six doctors in a one-year period. Most could offer no answers other than to say her symptoms were that of old age. I had given up thinking, you know, this is it, you know. Joan finally got a diagnosis in March of 2009. Normal pressure hydrocephalus, or NPH. Basically, an excess buildup of fluid on the brain. The classic symptoms, according to doctors, are a shuffling gait, falling, memory problems, confusion, and urinary incontinence. When we reviewed her case before hospitalization, it fit classically. And it was just that it had gotten so bad that when she came into the hospital, people were thinking that she was even having strokes or seizures. And that's the problem with this condition, the doctor says. It's often misdiagnosed. An NPH is treatable. A shunt is implanted inside the head and drains the excess fluid through a valve from the brain to the abdomen, where it's absorbed back into the bloodstream. Shortly after surgery, Joan was thinking more clearly and walking on her own again. Immediately after they put this in my head, it was, I swear, it was a miracle. For more information on NPH, you can go to our website at abcactionnews.com slash health. And many of my health stories are also posted up on my Facebook fan page. Stay with us.